we have here uh, is uh, an idea that I came up with a few months ago. And it's basically uh, sawzalls with a direct fit uh, coupling for uh, fitting right in a sawzall. Now it goes in, locks in there nice and sturdy. And you can file a lot quicker. It, uh, it's a time saver for those situations where you're in a rush and you can't uh, afford to hand file uh, all day. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or if you have like a, if you're doing kind of assembly line work where you've got a whole bunch of different things to do the same and each one needs some adjustment, like that would be advantageous. Yeah, it would be advantageous. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, it can be used for so many different things. Uh, sharpening a blade on a lawnmower, uh, just working on trim for a house, just making an edge so it'll fit into the wall a little better. And there's so many different, uh, different cuts. Uh, bastard cut would probably be the best for this situation because uh, you want to take off a lot of material if you're in a hurry. <laughs> mm. But uh, probably single cut. Don't want it both ways to be pulling. It'll probably tear. And... All right. So do you want to show an example of it in use? And this yeah. is a what's this here in the vice? Yes. This is a, this is a bracket for like serpentine setups. Um, okay. But this will just kind of show on the top. You can see how much that took off in a short amount of time. Yeah, how much that took off is quite a bit. It took off quite a bit in a hurry, which um, that's a time saver. And it's a nice smooth finish just because it moves so quickly over the edge and uh, honestly this one's been even more handy because often a bracket you'll, you'll be working on a car and the bracket just won't quite match up it just doesn't have enough throw so you have to lengthen the hole And of course, it's a big bracket. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. There's a. That's what about? How thick is that? It's not a quarter of an inch thick, but how thick is that steel? That's it's yeah. probably close to it. Close to a quarter. Yeah. yeah so a little under. A lot of steel there to take off. Yeah. And that, it. Uh, and it took off quite a bit. Yeah, it made short sure work of that compared to how long that would take by hand. A hand that would be. <laughs> I'd be doing that for a 10, 15, fifteen minutes. Yeah. 10, fifteen minutes. Yeah. Obviously, a thinner piece of steel will be a lot more dramatic. Make sure, it's nice and tight in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, they went from a round hole to a slot. Ah, there we go, yes, 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 yes. In just a few seconds. And yeah, it was like this, a round hole, and now it's like that. And that was probably 30 seconds. Yeah, maybe 30 seconds, and by hand, oh god, that would take you forever. Oh, uh, you'd be at the half an yeah. hour. And with a, a drill, some people do that, just with a drill bit, and they try to, to cut the edge out and, and actually do that same thing, but it's... It takes forever, and you can easily break a drill bit doing yeah. that. So. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people have done that. Yeah, which is just no good. And it actually gets pretty hot. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure that gets toasty. And then there's rasp or, or wood or plastic or, yeah, whatever you're really working on. Ace. I actually found the rasp work pretty good on aluminum too. I know that's not what they were intended for, but 
Sure, it's strong enough steel, right? It'll cut right yeah. through that aluminum. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can always run a little chalk over it, too. Uh, it keeps it from filling okay. up with, with material so fast. Of course, not as big of a deal on wood. Not right, but... I got you. You can see how dramatic that is on wood, though. I mean, oh, yeah. could you imagine how long that would take you to file that out by hand? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's like cutting with a saw. It is. Oh, that's quite impressive. Yeah. That takes a big chunk of it. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a good angle on that. Yeah. Yep, yeah, takes a significant... Significant bite out of it, and... Uh... That can work in a lot of different situations. Yet again, you're probably more often round or whatever to just make it so wires could fit through a two by four or something in a wall. Or that's true. I mean, there are just so many applications, though. Um, I've heard guys are uh, having trouble with uh, brake calipers lately, and they rust up so they won't slide on the brake caliper slide, so the brake can't engage fully. It gets stuck. So guys have been using hand files very quickly because they don't have a lot of time there. Uh, so they have to get the job done really fast and they've been doing it by hand. And it's, I think something like that would probably come in real handy. They could get it right in there, mm -hmm. zip, zip, all the rest is off. It slides again, they're ready to go. And uh, yeah. And the yeah. dedicated vice, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's amazing what you can do when you just flip it over if you're, see if I can. you're doing the other side. Mm -hmm. So you can make that into... Yeah. So that so it doesn't fill up too fast. But yeah, you got to be very careful, but look at that. Yeah, just, um, so you put the chalk on there to prevent the teeth from binding yeah. up with the aluminum. Yeah, they'll, they'll fill, all the little teeth will fill up with aluminum, uh, and that's what they have file cards for, too, so you can, okay. so you can clean out the teeth after, but even at this high rate of speed, you would think with all the heat that it would fill up really fast, and it's... Not really any more of an issue than, than it is with hand. By doing by hand, okay. Which is um, just kind of cool. See the difference here between how it was normally and how much was taken out in just uh, probably 15, 20 seconds of... Yeah, it'll, uh, it'll save a lot of time and uh, I think it'll help a lot of tradesmen out. Uh, I, I've been using it for all sorts of things. I mean, I've even used it for opening up... Uh, cheap wrenches. Sometimes you just have a bolt that's that's rusty and there is no longer a size that fits. Mm. So you just you hit it for a second and all of a sudden you've got the perfect fit wrench. Um, but I've used it in so many situations. I've had holes in firewalls of cars that, that just couldn't reach with anything else. So I put a long round file in there and I was able to line the hole and, and get wires through and uh, mount master cylinders and all sorts of things. But that's the basis of the idea. It's really just about connecting the power tool to a file. And it's not an adapter. I mean, people tried adapters a few years back, but it creates an extra problem because there's two pivoting points and it flops around and falls out and and it's twice as long then too and you just can't do that and expect things are going to be okay yeah you're gonna it's gonna bounce all over the place i bet at that speed yeah exactly you need a little bit more control yeah i think if i were to make uh permanent models though i would do a double key uh, I've got a picture of it over here. Okay. I do have an actual pr provisional patent on this. Oh, nice. And you can see there's a double key in that. 
double key and there's a little nut for my other part of the invention but there it is in a sawzall All right, and then, yeah, that comes back to the other idea, the real part of this. There we go. The ergonomic handle that just gives you more leverage or just an easier way to hold it instead of instead of holding like that, you're able to hold straight up and down, more natural motion. So these files don't just have to be in a sawzall, they can be mm -hmm. used normally. I've got one set up in another handle here, a straight handle, and yeah. The rasps are really awesome for removing a lot of material in a hurry uh, on wood or aluminum. Uh, yeah, bastard kyles and uh, rasps of all sorts can be quite useful for any handyman. No, you could go to a finer cut uh, if you really want something to shine because it'll move at a very rapid speed and you could create a nice shiny finish with a with a fine file. And they also make uh, smaller versions, you were saying, of the Sawzall, more portable, a little bit more easy to maneuver? Yeah, yeah I've, I've got one right here. So they make battery powered ones now. You could bring this anywhere. It's okay. just so convenient. Mm -hmm. and uh, Lock it in there and... And they have even smaller ones than this now. They have ones that are like almost half this size. Half that size, nice. So you're talking about a really handy, not much heavier than even just bringing around a normal file. It's just simple. So, and it works. Wow. Cuts. Wonderful. Sounds good. It's completely different than a rotary. Most people are taking metal away with rotary tools, and this is a uh, reciprocating tool. So it just moves in a different fashion. Uh, if you used a rotary tool in a hole, it could snag and spin around and be dangerous and probably mess up your work area anyway. Um, and this is just a different way to go about it. Well, this is the basic idea. Uh, hopefully people can see, uh, see the usefulness of this. I'm in the uh, marketing phase now. I'm trying to find companies that uh, might be interested in this idea. I honestly think it has a lot of potential. I've seen it work. I've brought it to different companies. I've brought it to Snap-on dealers, uh, a few hardware stores, and they, they seem to like the idea. I, I actually had one that wanted to buy it from me <laughs> and put it on, the, on his shelves. Right when I started talking about it, so... Right at the hardware store. Yeah, or the Snap-on dealership. He was the one that really was interested in it. Basically, if these were on the shelves somewhere, I believe they would sell. You wouldn't even have to write anything on them. You could just put a picture of a Sawzall behind the files, and people would get it. They would they'd buy them and, uh, and use them.